I've got something new from Olight. Olight have changed their customer service contact with me um, and they automatically sent me out the Olight Baton 3 Pro Max in orange. I love this orange. This is really nice. Now I've got a Baton 3, I think, attached to my wall here. So I've got a small Baton 3 Pro that I can show you and this is the Baton 3 Pro Max. Now there is a bit of a difference in them um, and I'm going to show you the difference uh, from this one and this one. So first of all, in the box, if we pull it out carefully, we have our nice torch in this little bag. So we'll just take that out and there she is. Look at this beauty. This is really, really nice. I love this orange. It's like a nice burnt, rusty orange. And in the back, you have your standard um, charger cable and a user manual. You get the user manual in the back as well. Uh, always handy if you're new to them. You get this lovely little brown wallet to keep it in, this little brown case. So when you keep it in your pocket, you can tuck it in and keep it nice and soft. You get your charger cable, which is a magnetic charger cable. Like many of the Olight ones, you literally just attach it to the side there. See that? It's such a strong magnet. Um, it'll actually hold the torch. Um, it really is quite a strong magnet. And it's got a USB on the end there. You just plug that in the USB and put that on the end. Now when you plug it in, first of all, you'll find you'll have a little red light glowing on there. When that light goes green, it is fully charged. And I know this is fully charged because this has a new system to it. On the front there, you have a light and I've just touched it and it's glowing green. You can just about see that. So when you wave this torch around, you get this light come on. So I wave it around and look at that, the green light comes on. That tells me that it's fully charged. I think it's a red light if it's not and a blue light if it's medium, something like that. Um, but I will put the colors up on the screen for you in a moment. Um, you've got this great big, massive clip on the back. Now, if I get the old one down, you can see this size difference. Look at that, it's slightly bigger than the uh, original Baton 3 Pro. So the Baton 3 Pro Max is definitely got a little bit of size to it. And the clip on the back, you can also see there, the clip on the back is a lot bigger. Um, this has got a really, really chunky um, clip on the back of this. And it's a two-way clip, so it'll go down this way or it'll go down this way, depending on which way around you want to clip it onto your bag. But they also remove it. You can pull that off. If you wanted to pull it off, you can actually pull that clip off, but I'm not going to try. Um, so yeah, that's really, really good. There is something else I want to show you as well in a moment. It also comes with this. This is a little metal bracket. I'm not going to get it out of its bag. I'm going to leave it in there because I've got a metal bracket on the wall already and I will show you how it attaches to the wall and um, a great way for storing. I drive around in my van and it has not touched wood. It has not fallen off at all yet. So you just attach it to the van. So when I want a torch, like I just did it, I reached over then and I've got my torch. Okay, so I know it's stuck to the wall and I'm going to swap it for this one because it is orange and I like the orange. Right, let's give you some information about this little torch and tell you a little bit about it. First of all, I know it's 2,500 lumen, which means it's very, very, very bright. Right, so it's 2,500 maximum lumens, and uh, so it's very, very bright for a very small torch. Um, it really is going to pack out some power um, if you want to sort of illuminate stuff and uh, see where you're going. I also said to you as well, you've got the shake indicator. You see on there, you've got the shake indicator. So as you shake the torch, it comes up and it flashes and it tells you what colors, what color it is, and it tells you what it's going to be. So if it's orange, if it's green, it's 60% plus. If it's orange, it's 10 to 60%. And if it's red, it's below 10%, so it needs charging. Okay, so nice and simple, very, very quick, easy way, because normally you have to switch them on and you're sort of guessing how much power in it. But to be able to shake it and see how much power's in there, I think that's a brilliant, a brilliant, brilliant idea. This has got most friendly interface. Um, it, you can press this button a, a little bit and it doesn't uh, switch on. So basically this has got a new button and you have to actually put your finger in there to press this thing to turn it on. It's not just gonna get knocked on in your bag. You can press this a little bit and it's not gonna get knocked on. So they've actually improved the button on the side to make it a little bit better and uh, not to be accidentally switched on. Compared to the Pro, uh, this retails at 89.99, whereas the smaller Pro, uh, this retails at 70 uh, so 69.99 so it's a little bit dearer but you're getting a lot more torch for your money 
the other one, the small one down there is 1,500 lumens. This is 2,500 lumens. So you get an extra 1,000 lumens, a lot, lot brighter. Uh, run time, this maximum run time is 60 days. So this will run for you for 60 days. That is on its low setting. Um, obviously, if you put it on its high turbo setting, it's not going to run that long. Uh, maximum beam distance, it's got 475 meters. So this thing will light up 475 meters distance. That's a long way to, to throw a beam of light, um, to spread a beam of light. So that's pretty good. So inside this thing, you've got a 5,000 milliamp, 3.6 volt uh, rechargeable lithium battery. Uh, so this thing will definitely charge and run for some time. There's an O-ring in there to, which shows it's waterproof, but inside here you can see you've got this massive 5,000 um, milliamp 3.6 volt battery. And when you first get the torch, there's a little yellow tag inside, which I dropped on the floor just now because it's in the box. So you have to take that tag out to make sure this charges and works, otherwise it's not going to work and you'll be flapping around with it trying to get it to work. So I've got this on my phone, this is why I keep looking down, I keep looking at my phone to, to remind myself. This has got several different levels as per all the Olight torches. First level you hold, press and hold it and switch it on and you get this very dim like a firefly light, very very low and if I can just go to what it's got on here, that is one lumen and it'll run like that for 60 days. Okay, so that's a great for reading your maps, great for looking for something at the night when you don't want to dazzle yourself, okay? Then you've got your next one. So you press it up and you see it goes a bit brighter. So this brightness is 15 lumens and uh, this will run for 180 hours. So you're getting a long time, 180 hours it's going to run. That's, that's a weekend and some, isn't it really, to be honest? Press and hold it again goes up again you can see the brightness has come up again that's 120 lumens that's going to give you 23 hours so you've got a whole day's worth of light in that you can run it like that for a whole day who's going to have a torch on for a whole day permanently uh, no one really press and hold it again see now it's getting really bright now we've got 800 lumens and it will drop down to 120 lumens so it'll run at 800 for 243 minutes and then for cooling temperature pies it's going to drop down for another 80 minutes at the lower temperature and then if you press again that's going to go off so if you double press you get your 5000 you'll get your you, you get your 2500 lumens and it's going to run like that for uh, a minute so you, if you really do want to punch that power out and to have a look and see what's going on in the distance it, double press it's going to run like that for a minute and once it gets really warm because this thing does get a bit of temperature it'll drop down to 800 lumens and run for another 240 minutes okay so there is there is a proximity sensor on it as well um, there are limits to how much this is going to run for a length of time all torches are the same they what you have when you have it on its turbo mode it has a runtime limit because they do get very, very warm. So yeah, that's the limit on this one. I'm not sure, but I think if you triple press, uh, if you look away, if you don't like flashing lights, triple press, you get the strobe. Today, I still don't know why you get strobes. I don't understand what a strobe is. I would prefer to see an SOS or both. I think a strobe is a deterrent type of thing that you can use it for deterrent at night because if you're shining this in um, somebody's face, then it's going to deter them. So uh, yeah, that's probably what it's for. This has a new proximity sensor on it. It's, it's designed now so that um, when it's on full power, like so, when you get a bit closer to something, you can see how it dims, see the brightness, and as you get closer. So if this for any reason gets put in your bag or in your pocket and it switches on, that new proximity sensor will actually turn the light down and stop you from setting fire to your pocket in all fairness. Um, but yeah, it's got a new design and it looks quite nice and quite swish on the front there. It's very, very clean. So yeah, that's it. That's all I want to do. Show you this, the new Baton 3 Pro Max. They do it in several different colors, lots of different colors, like a kamikaze color, kamikaze, khaki color. If you really want a torch, Olight are definitely the people to have a look at because they're easy to charge. You literally just plug them on and away you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Really does mean a lot. And um, yeah, till next time. Ciao for now. See you soon. Ta-da.